What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach with Android Digest, and to be honest, I don't really know what to call this video. Is this video a review? Well, I am gonna be talking a lot about the Surface Duo 2, and this is a device that has been very divisive, but despite that fact, it is something that I just wanna talk about. I wanna talk about it more. I wanna praise this device. I wanna share what I think about it more and more. So I already did a one year review. I just wanna talk more about how awesome this device is. So I'm gonna get right into it in this video. So with all that being said, let's talk about the Surface Duo 2. So this might seem a little bit rant-like. I'm gonna be ranting a little bit here, but a lot of people just don't understand the beauty of the Surface Duo 2. And that's what this video is about, the beautiful nature of using a device like this. Now this device, you might absolutely hate it. I don't know if you've tried it before. A lot of reviewers have absolutely trashed it, but as I've gotten to use the Surface Duo 2 more and more, I managed to go back to it over and over because there's something so special about it. For one, if you're someone out there who likes to do game emulation, right, it's really nice to be able to see your game on the top screen and to be able to have a controller on the bottom because there's something so special about having two separate screens. It's just like having computer monitors, right? Sometimes it does help you to separate work and play when you have two separate screens going on. You could have two different things that you could use for multitasking right? That does help versus having one gigantic screen which really has everything together. Sometimes it's worth separating things. Another example of that is when you're reading a book. So if you use something like Kindle for example, it will have separate pages on each screen. That is something that I love about this device. Or if you use an app like Scribd. Scribd is an app that not a lot of people know about, but it's a subscription service for books and it's a lot better than Kindle's subscription service because this is sort of like Netflix where you get unlimited books and they have almost every book that I would wanna read and it separates, once again, the pages down the middle so that I could see one page on one side, one page on the other, and I could flip between pages as I go, just like I do on a book. So that's another great thing. Now, what if you're reading something that's really, really long, like a really long article? Well, you could flip your device to the side like this, and whenever you do, you'll be able to see things. Of course, you'll have a bar in the middle a little bit, but this is still a terrific screen for reading. This screen is very, very large. It's over eight inches. I believe it's like 8.6 inches on this display. It's a lot bigger than something like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So when you factor in how big the screen is, this is terrific for reading. And the other thing that I love about this device is whenever I'm on my lunch break. So one of the most practical things that a lot of us do when we're on a lunch break and when we're tired of working, we'd like to set our phones down and watch a video. So I remember I had this device and I was getting a little bored with it because sometimes this device can be a little bit clunky, right? You have this big camera on the back. Whenever you open it up to use it in one-handed mode, there's just a little bit of a gap here where the camera's stuck in between the screens. It's a little bit clunky for phone calls. So I said, you know what? I think I'm done with the Duo 2 for now. So I pick up a Pixel 7 and whenever I went on my lunch break, of course, I went to go watch a video and I was so disappointed that I didn't have my Surface Duo 2. I had this little small screen and I was missing the fact that a lot of times on the Duo 2, I put it in tint mode where I have the phone itself sitting up on a stand like this and I could have a super large screen to actually watch content on. That's one of the best things that I love about the Microsoft Surface Duo 2. It's terrific for watching videos. It's absolutely terrific for multitasking. It is a fantastic device for reading. It's fantastic for productivity. If I'm doing something, for example, like I have a job that I do a lot of announcements for, but I really need to check the announcements for last week. Like what did I say last week in my announcements then? So I could adjust my announcements for this week. Well, I could have my email on the right-hand side and I could check last week's announcements 
on the left. So there's so much that I love about this phone. I know this phone is very divisive, and honestly, there are some very genuine criticisms that you could have with this Microsoft Surface Duo 2. The cameras are way improved since launch, there's not a lot of bugs anymore, which is great, but there still are some minor issues with this phone. Because if you're comparing the cameras to something like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, these cameras will not be even close. When I'm trying to record video on this phone, I do sometimes have a little bit of odd autofocus issues. And this phone is not water resistant, which is another thing I don't like. And I don't like on the inside of these screens, they are curved which is really bad if you wanna put a screen protector on your device. Screen protectors do not work very well on this phone. And also there's no cover screen, so you have to open up your phone every single time. If you wanna use the camera, you have to leave your phone open like this, which could be a little bit annoying because you always, let's say you're in a grocery store, right? You're needing your camera really quick. Well, you're gonna to have to be pushing around your cart while you're holding around your phone like this. Like there are a lot of situations where you're gonna need your camera in a quick moment. And when you have your hands full, this is gonna be very, very bulky and difficult to use like that. So this phone does have drawbacks and that's why I tend to go away from it every once in a while. I get a little bit bored with it and I move on to something else, but I always seem to find my way back. And I just don't really know why, and I sort of do, because this device is just a very unique device, a unique form factor that is so good for multitasking. I absolutely love it for watching content. I love it for multitasking. I love how each screen is independent of one another, so I don't have to open up five different menus to do some type of weird multitasking. Instead, I open up an app on the left screen, I open an app up on the right, and it just works so darn well. So this is a terrific phone for those of you who love to multitask, but one of the biggest barriers to buying it has been the price. This device did retail at $1,500. It went on sale for 1,000, and it really sold out in a bunch of places. And Microsoft claimed this phone wasn't discontinued and that they would still be making it. Well, apparently, it may very well be discontinued because I have not seen this device go on sale in the US for whatever reason, so that is a little bit of a bummer. However, if you look on places like eBay or Swappa, I've seen this phone in mint condition and you could find it for around five to six hundred dollars. Maybe you find it for seven hundred, but either way, to get this phone in mint condition for hundreds of dollars cheaper than the Galaxy Z Fold 4, I think that is really worth considering. And if you want a unique form factor, something really different and special, something that really is just different than all the norm, right? I'm just so sick and tired of normal phones. I wanna experience something new and different and have something cool and unique. And that's what this phone is. So yes, there are some minor camera issues. I don't love the video quality on this phone. The picture quality is okay, but not up to snuff compared to something like the Z Fold 4. And outside of that, there's just not a lot that I dislike with this device because the performance is great. The device itself is very, very good. It's great at multitasking and the display is very, very good as well. So this Duo 2, I just wanted to tell you, I still think even in 2023, even at the end of 2022, I think this device is definitely worth buying and I think it is worth keeping. This is a device that yes, I don't know if we're gonna get another form factor like this again. Microsoft may abandon this two screen approach with the Duo 3, but all I know is right now, it's a fun device to use, I absolutely love it, and I wanted to let you know all about my experience with it. So hopefully this video does help you, hopefully it excites you about the Duo 2. A lot of people that watch these videos have Duo 2s and they just wanna hear people say something good for once, right? So hopefully you liked this video. Give me a like if you can and give me a sub if that's something you wanna do. And another thing you could do is just watch some other videos if you get a little bit of time. That would mean a lot to me personally. And you could also use those affiliate links in the description if there's any of these phones in stock anyway, right? So have a great day, enjoy your week, and I hope you enjoy this upcoming new year.